everyone and welcome to Biology Professor. Today we're going to talk about the distinctions between lithotrophs and organotrophs. Now why is this important? This is important because in biology organisms are often classified based on various aspects of their metabolism. So for example, Organisms can be classified on how they get their energy. So there are certain organisms that would fall into the classification of phototrophs. Who get their energy from light and then other organisms that don't get their energy from light, but who get their energy from breaking down chemical compounds and really releasing energy from those chemical bonds. Those are known as chemotrophs. Organisms can also be classified according to where they get their carbon source from. So for example, there are organisms that get their carbon from carbon dioxide during carbon fixation, and those are called autotrophs. And there are other organisms that, that get their carbon by either absorbing or uh, ingesting and digesting organic matter, and those would be called heterotrophs. Another way that these can sometimes be described is autotrophs make their own food, heterotrophs have to eat it somewhere else. So that brings us to talking about what do we mean by the focus of today's video, and that is lithotrophs and organotrophs. Well, we talked about how organisms can be classified based on how they acquire energy or how they acquire carbon, but lithotrophs versus organotrophs are uh, distinguished based on their electron donor during cellular respiration. So during cellular respiration, there has to be some kind of compound that donates electrons that then go down an electron transport chain to help generate ATP. Now in lithotropes, the compound used, that is the electron donor, is an inorganic compound. And in situations where the electron donor is an organic compound, we classify these organisms as organotrophs. And you should also be aware that these various prefixes can be combined. For example, we can talk about certain groups of organisms uh, that are photolithoautotrophs. So all plants are photolithoautotrophs. What this means is that they get their energy from light, they get their carbon from uh, carbon dioxide, so carbon fixation, and then they get their uh, electron donor is an inorganic compound. All animals, on the other hand, are chemoorganoheterotrophs. So this means that animals get their energy from chemical bonds, get our carbon from absorbing uh, and ingesting uh, other organic materials, and then that organic compound, uh, the electron donor is an organic compound. So that is how you would combine these prefixes to discuss the various uh, characteristics of different organismal metabolisms. Keep in mind that there are, uh, that all lithotrophs, every lithotroph is a type of bacterium, whereas organotrophs include many bacteria, but also include plants and animals and other organisms with which we are familiar. If you're interested in learning more about some of these topics, I have a couple of other videos that you should check out. One is about these four classifications, so phototrophs, chemotrophs, autotrophs, and heterotrophs. If you're interested in learning more about those, check out my video on that topic. And then if you are interested in learning a bit more about this cellular respiration process, then I also have a video that will introduce you to cellular respiration. So check those out, and thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!